Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 3 of Let's FIFA 13 and we continue from where we left off in the last episode. We just won Division 5 and that means we have a bunch of coins. So we go out and pick up Elgerson in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation and he is a little bit expensive because he is out of packs. Now he will be the replacement of an outer which, which were out of contracts and... Uh, I'm going to sell him on, but I will most likely get an Autovich into a squad in the future. Maybe linking up with Elia in a 4-3-2-1 formation. Who knows? He was a, he was at least a very good player in the first episodes, but he, he just won't fit in into the kind of squad I'm going to build. And you'll see the squad change quite a bit in today's episode into, and in tomorrow's episode. We're working our way towards kind of a Brazilian Serie A squad, uh, a mix of those two things. And it's not going to be very original or creative. It's just going to be a solid squad I can do skill moves with and also win most likely Division 1 with. That is uh, this that is at least my aim at the moment. Uh, but yeah, into Division 4 here. The first game of the online division. And uh, we find Elgerson here on the edge of the box. Goes past the defender. Gets a shot in and a double rebound which falls to Rodrigo who makes it a 1-0. And just a 15 minutes later we find Elgerson here. He goes past two defenders and look at that through ball to find, find a guy to hand on the edge of the box he makes his way into the box goes past the defender here lovely stuff and that is a 2-0 he will however get it back into the game there to make it 2-1 but it wouldn't last for too long because into the second half we break through here with Rodrigo into the box a nice slide tackle there but it falls straight back to Rodrigo who goes past the defender and takes on another one and it's a 3-1 and that lead will last all the way until a full time so I win the game 3-1 I get uh, 3 points and it's not looking too bad a good start to the Division 4 and after the game uh, Nautovic and uh Michael had sold on and they gave me a few coins and I went out and bought a Raphael so bis now my f idea is to make it some sort of a quest for skillers or something like that alongside uh, getting all these good goals so the idea is I cannot sell on a five star skiller I will always keep them in my team and it will also kind of encourage me to keep on trading because uh, I can't sell them on and just get a bunch of new players in so uh, it will most likely be very difficult to get the players like Ibrahimovic and Ronaldo and Ribery but uh, my aim is to try and get every single five star skiller maybe apart from um, the the three I just mentioned maybe I'll only get one of them because it is very expensive but I'll try and see if I can get around that and maybe have like a bunch of skillers in the squad I also always can mix around and kind of build hybrids with them it could be pretty cool so that will be a kind of a quest I'm going to try and fulfill now onto the gameplay here I lose the game 1-0 against a full Arsenal squad and I was very disappointed at myself after the game I felt I had the chances but I just I wasn't clinical enough and I end up losing the game and now after the game I sent uh, Luis Gustavo and Gaetan to the trade pile they were out of contracts and then I went out and picked up a De Rossi in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation here from an open bit and we get a right mid as well it is a Pepe 400 coins for a 4 star skiller that is not a too bad but I will eventually go out and get Lamella instead of course because he will link it perfectly up with De Rossi uh, and uh, he does have the 5 star skills as well so that is the plan uh, but he is way too expensive for me at the moment so Pepe it is for now so we continue in Division 4 and come up against a very strong Premier League squad and we end up conceding a goal here in the 31st minute from Podolski. But just 6 minutes later we find Elia over the top ball to find Rondinho and a finesse shot around Joe Hart to make it 1-1. And we continue on here to Elia on the ball, makes his way into the box uh, but the shot is a save. So we go into the second half where we play a through ball to find Rodrigo. He jumps over the ball and gets a little bit out of position but he will end end up picking up a penalty and Ronaldinho he will of course step up for that and convert it to make it 2-1 I got the lead and I was there was no looking back after that I kept on creating chances in the chances and here's Elgerson breaking through to make it a 3-1 and we get another chance he takes his keeper way too far out and what a goal there from De Rossi to make it a 4-1 so I get another 3 points for the division and after the game Elia were out of contracts and as I said earlier in this episode I'm not going to sell a 5 star player on so I I just put him on the reserves bench and I picked up a new left mid because Elia is not going to be a part of this squad but he, as I said he will probably feature in a squad alongside with Anatovic in the future so we get Gomez there he 
does not he's not in the right formation or position but it's just to get a good uh, left mid player uh, with four star skills because I couldn't really find anyone else which was cheap the goal is to get Rubinho but he's just a little bit too expensive as well at the moment uh, so I go out and play an offline game to get a bit of uh, fitness on my players and then I pick up a Gambarini and a De Secle. I get Gambarini on an open bet and I end up picking up De Secle on a buy now for 1000 coins and he had quite a bit of contracts on him the, the one I picked up I believe he got 28 contracts something like that so not a too a bad there and we're starting to get a pretty solid Serie A defense here uh, with a very good back four and Fry he's actually a very solid keeper as well so I was quite comfortable to to uh, go into an online game I just needed to get the, the fitness up on the two defenders I just bought so I go out and play in the silver shield again I win the game and I believe I'm through to the final but we rather want to play an online game as the last game of this episode so we get all the players into the squad it's starting to shape up quite nicely and uh, we are ready to play and I come up against a team which uh, for once isn't that extremely good like the Premier League squads I've been me meeting it is a full Korean side I wasn't quite sure what to expect uh, but it was a very good game for me it's wrong Dino getting the first chance of the game he didn't really attack me and a nice volley there but an easy save for the keeper and just a few minutes later nice stuff from Elgerson making his way into the box goes past several defenders and puts it into the back of the net to make it a 1-0 and straight after the replay here he decides to rage quit and that is how we are going to end this episode so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed it I'll have another one out tomorrow and I can tell you I scored a pretty nice goal with Ronaldinho in that one so look forward to that and that's all guys thank you for watching and I will talk to you later